What's up, y'all? Alright, so am I the only person noticing a trend here? I just got finished watching this video about Kai Sanat's videographer being called out or being caught talking to a minor. Now, literally every single day I turn around, it's a new content creator or a new, or new public figure getting caught talking to a minor. Like, literally, we just saw Mr. Beast's homeboy or homegirl, whatever, that, whatever, I don't want to disrespect his pronouns or whatever. You know what I'm saying? They just got caught talking to a minor. You dig what I'm saying? Like, what's going on? 2024 is literally the year of the pedophiles. I swear to God. But nah, seriously, why does it seem like every single time these dudes get famous, they have the unbearing urge to talk to a kid? And it's not even like talking to kids or like like little girls is interesting. Like, why? Like, what? what's the fascination in that? You like the innocence? Is that what turns you on? You like the fact that you can, what? feel like their father is that yeah like a father king I, I don't know what it is that's in these people's brains to make them look past the simple fact that they are children and you are a grown man whatever is making you look past that fact i don't know what it is but you got to get that fixed bro and it's the fact that you're literally a celebrity like literally what makes you think that you're not gonna get told on no matter what kind of hush money you can give out no matter what you can tell them to try and make them convince this little kid this little girl to not snitch on you she gonna snitch, bro. And it's like, literally, they get caught every time. Like, they don't learn. That boy Autumn got caught. That boy, uh, what's that boy name? He made that song, uh, Thrax. Yeah, I'm at a Thrax. Yeah. for that bitch. SSG Kobe, he got, I oh, know, I don't even think that was a uh, pedophile thing. I think he, like, raped somebody or something like that. Either way it goes, bro, y'all are some offending, y'all, y'all are some offenders, bro. I don't know, maybe it's the drugs that y'all get introduced to when y'all get famous. I don't know what it is. Because I know me, when I get big, bro, I don't want to do anything at all to jeopardize my position, bro. Y'all get into the, these big positions. Like, how are you going to be a videographer for the one, the number one streamer in the world right now, Kai Sinat? And you out here doing this stuff. Hanging around Kai Sinat, you could be getting in with females like Tiana Trump. And you want little girls? Now, like, think about this for a second. Hanging around Kai Sinat and A&P, bro, you could be getting the baddest females. Maybe I'm thinking about it from the wrong perspective, but I'm just saying. 17-year-old girls will be the last thing on my mind. <laughs> Same thing for Mr. Beast. Like, what, what, what are we doing here? You know how many people would die to be in the position to say that I'm friends with Mr. Beast? Not only for you to embarrass him and his brand in the worst way possible, but you embarrass yourself and your brand in the worst way possible by letting something like that come out. Should never did it in the first place. And I don't think people really realize the type of damage that being a pedophile has on your reputation. Like you can literally murder somebody and people will still like, you know, justify why you did it. And you know, even if you were dead wrong, people will still look past it just off the simple fact that they like you. But being a pedophile, bro, you there is no looking past that. There is no just, oh yeah, we'll just leave that in the past. You know what I'm saying? He's a changed man. No, you literally are a creep like you <laughs> you're literally like a weirdo bro i swear to god bro when i get famous bro i'm gonna need ids bro i'm gonna need ids and i'm gonna need documents of consent i promise you y'all think i'm playing i'm so serious like how amp be having females do uh non-disclosure agreements when they come see them yeah it's gonna be a consent <laughs> whenever i get into it with a female and we getting ready to get hot and heavy yeah sign this real quick <laughs> Yeah, just so just so you can't go back and say that you didn't really say yes. Yeah, go ahead. You said what? You said what was your age? You got an ID on you? I mean, shoot, you say you 18, you gotta have an ID on you. I got my ID right here. Where your ID at? You can't provide me with a valid ID. Hey, I'm sorry, baby. We gotta, you gotta, you gotta hit the road, hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. I don't know, man. I just couldn't see myself doing. Maybe I just have like a pure mind. That's what it is. Like I would love to. Well, not love to, but I feel like it would be interesting to sit down and have a conversation with the pedophile, you know? Because there's got to be something in your mind that's drawing you towards kids. Like, maybe it's like, maybe like something happened to you when you were a kid, so you feel like it's okay. Maybe that's what it is. Because there's no way, like, you can go through life, like, just the average lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? You're raised by some good parents, Christian household, you know what I'm saying? You, you went to school, graduated, never really had problems like that, had you a girlfriend, you know, you had the average life. There's no way. And you still came out liking children, especially if you came out successful. You came out liking children. Maybe, like, these people, they get so tired of, like, living the high life and being able to get any girl they want. They start doing stuff to make their life, like, more spicy. 
So what they'll do is they'll go out and they'll talk to these children because it adds like a little bit more like, you know, sick, like secrety, you know what I'm saying? Like makes them feel like they're doing something, you know what I'm saying? Like to get their blood pumping, you know, which doesn't make sense, obviously, but I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm just trying to think of something, bro. There's got to be some reason that they're, they're like, literally it's a new pedophile every week. We had that dude that worked for Nickelodeon, you know what I'm saying? He was found out touching on them little kids on set we got this little chris next door thing we had that dude uh i think it was dr disrespect he got caught uh talking to some minors we got drake <laughs> kendrick kind of handled that for us but that's all rap beef though we don't really know if that's like true or not i don't know what's in the psychology of these celebrities man but y'all gotta get it together bro but ton of some guys peace hey you don't gotta assume nothing if you wanna know just ask i know just ask i'm not really into rushing i'm gonna take the longer Really the end of discussion when I say what I had to say. Okay. No, I can't see the future, but I'm starting to stone.